Welcome back to a gripping final round of the BMW International Open, where Sweden's Henrik Stenson and England's David Howell have a slender one-shot advantage. Mind you, Howell struggling on the demanding par 4 14th after a somewhat crooked drive. There's 211 yards to go. Ball seems to be lying okay, but just a little bit of tree trouble. Bunkers to come over. Seems to have made excellent contact. Oh, and that was fractions, you know. Just one little hop and that might have made its way onto the putting surface. Gnarly rough though, isn't it? More penal than ever before at this particular venue. Harrington with his second shot from the perfect spot. Right centre of the fairway, just over 200 yards to go. That's OK. It's the sort of hole field you just want to make your four and go to the next. Not so on the 16th. They bought the tee forward yesterday. Players were going for the green. Today it's back. And that's why Henrik Stenson, even with his power, forced a layup. Colin Montgomery on the 15th found one of the new bunkers and just thinned it a little. That's why it's gone oh, 20 paces too far. One of the reasons why David Howell is so prominent, he's scrambling up and down time and time again this week. They'll do well out of this though, Phil. There you can see that thick rough that you spoke of and the ball racing through to the back edge of the green. On 17, Retief Goosen, one of the last players with a chance of winning that sleek grey car just behind the tee. Tall order though, 189 yards this par three. We've hardly seen any of the players in the final few groups find the putting surface. Harrington uphill, slight left to right this one. Still got lots of pace in it though, even though it's up the hill. Come on, turn, turn, turn. Oh, that's going to ask a question. Meat on the bone. Colin Montgomery's preparation for this final round, unconventional to say the least. Got on a private plane, flew back to Glasgow last night. Hamden Park, in fact, where he attended a Robbie Williams concert. Actually paraded the Ryder Cup trophy in front of 66,000 fans. Then it was back to Munich. Arrived at 1.30 in the morning, got some sleep, and then set about trying to win the golf tournament. How for his part. right to left it's a good line oh it's a cracker that is an absolute cracker how important will that be Padraig Harrington also made his part on the way back so Harrington stays one back and how just in the lead with Stenson horrible this ball above his feet that promotes maybe a little pull and so tough to control <coughs> All in all, Ross, not too bad. Yeah, good shot, really. He controlled the distance very well. And an excellent opportunity for him to make his par. Stenson then with a curly left to right. This has got some turn on it, Phil. Right at the end, it almost goes to 90 degrees. Watch this. Oh, <laughs> can you believe that? Remember, bogey on 14 with three puts. So this an absolute must. Goosen's challenge fading. Two bogeys in four holes and timely. Now back in a share of fifth. Two adrift of the joint leaders, Howell and Stenson. Erlenson. 319 yards, going with a long iron. There's water all the way down the right side. 
Hang on. That's OK. It's a bit of slope on that fairway, and if you just try to be a bit cute, it kicks away to the right. Colin Montgomery looking for his 31st win on the European Tour. That would leave him alone in third place on the all-time list. And he would break a tie were he to be successful with a certain Nick Faldo, who was here this week but didn't make the cut. So Stenson, like you say, Phil, 189 yards, but playing 202 yards in total with the flag all the way in the back portion of the green. Left to right wind, Stenson trying to draw it into the back flag. Just overdone that. That's okay. That's a little uphill. Right to lefter for him. Harrington on the 15th. Crisp contact. Maybe a little too crisp. The spin hurt him. Finding the rough off the tee on the previous hole. Howell has hit an absolute corker off this 15th. Just 58 yards to the front. Flags on 21. Spin. Good for distance. A little push. He might be disappointed from that distance to be that far to the right. They pride themselves on perfection, these boys. Now, just a hint of a hanging lie, water to come over, and as we've mentioned before, enormous pressure. A sensible commercial shot from Erlandsen. He's not had a top 10 this season, and in fact, he's missed 11 of his last 15 cuts. So this week represents a radical improvement. Colin. Just over 95 yards. Spin now. Lovely control. One of the reasons they're not going straight at that flag is because any spin from anywhere near where it is today, and you'd be in the water. The 18th. Retief Goosen on the first three days has made a hat trick of birdies. Needs something a little better. This time. Three wood from the tee. Three iron, second shot. Trying to draw it to the back left pin position. Oh, it's better than that. It's all over it. What a fantastic shot from Goosen. And now suddenly, his hopes revived. If he makes that 15 under, he'll post a handy target. Yeah, clubhouse leader is... Luke Donald at 13 under. Harrington, the birdie to get to 15 under. Yes. You can probably hear Caroline, his wife, in the background there, screaming away. His biggest fan. He's won twice in Germany before. The 03 Deutsche Bank and the 04 German Masters. Now we'll see that curly putt once more. He judged it now as under hit that one. There it goes, just turns away violently at the hole. Par then for Erlinson. Chance for a birdie for Howell. Right in his range, a little right to left up. They never got that right at all. He would make his part. Stenson on the 17th. Straight face club, just a little pitch and run. <coughs> Judged very nicely indeed. He accumulated the bulk of his Ryder Cup points at the start of the year, so good to see him back at his best just before the event itself. <laughs> okay. Yes, I know, Colin. I can't believe it either. Actually, the second hardest hole in the final day, that 16th, the shortest hole on the course. 
harp up for Stenson. Oh no, 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 no. That was a little edgy, wasn't it? A real prod. Now Goosen, to put the cat amongst the proverbial pigeons. That's why Ross, he's won two majors. He's got the ability to produce when it matters most. What a finish. But will it be quite enough? Uh, it's a round of 67 in very difficult conditions. Terrific performance from Latif Goosen. How quickly things can change. Goosen's hopes rekindled. He vaults to 15 under alongside Harrington and Howell. One better than the disbelieving Stenson. More from Munich in just a moment.